Hello, dude. This is Leopard Maker One Zero Three. What can you do? Dogs barking. Now, Alien Isolation. The last episode we dealt with the android threat. Yay! I don't like this. The androids finally started attacking people. I hate the androids. If if that wasn't made clear in the last episode. And in this episode, can I make EMPs yet? Nope. I don't really want to make anything. The alien can appear here as well, but you don't have too much to worry about. Hello! Glenn? Glenn, is that you from The Walking Dead? What are you doing here in alien isolation in space? No, seriously, if you uh, look at The Walking Dead, the first PlayStation 3 one, and uh, Glenn in there, that guy there with the hat, you'll notice they look similar from here. Yeah, there's even somebody else way over there. Interesting. Okay. I need a doctor. Hello? I, I need a... I can't hear you. Hang on. Mine. Come up. I've opened the elevator for you. Well, okay. Beep. Come on. Come on. <coughs> Well, when I die, I lose, basically. Me. Yeah, crouching may slow you down, but honestly, it's the safest way. If you walk while the alien is nearby or all the androids are nearby, they will hear you. If you run where they're decently far, where walking would be safe, they will hear you if you run. Crouching just seems like the better mode to try to get a bit of distance away so then you can walk. Forget the door. The marshals locked everything down. Use the vent. Um so then over here. Over here. Here it is. <coughs> Alright. Wow, this is pretty high. Alright. What all kind of episode we're in for this time? Heart attack episode? Run episode? Or killing episode? Killing episode is... I don't even know when that's going to happen. Because honestly, using your gun is dangerous. Very dangerous. You can easily attract the alien with that. The map. There we go. Um, go this way. You're not catching us in our bed. Right. Not have to worry about this beep. Is this beep? It's a safe station. No, not really. <coughs> it's this guy. And I'm gonna kill him. Ripley. I need to find a doctor. Ooh. I'm a doctor. My friend needs help. Medical supplies. Me too. There are no supplies on this level. But there are plenty downstairs in the hospital dispensary. How do we get there? We? Do I look like I'm in any fit state? I need your help and you need mine. You find the oh. passcode for the service elevator and then I'll come down to the hospital with you, okay? Passcode? Yeah. I can direct you from here. Morley or Lingard would have had the new passcode. Morley's office is your best bet. Look in there. You see that suitcase there with the green light? That means you can loot it. And there's another one of those things there. And there's also a tape recorder. That means you should be able to get in this room. You know, that's the one thing I've never done. I'll explain why once we actually end up around the end towards this room. I'm probably going to die in this episode about maybe 3 or 4, maybe 20,000 times. So, you know, this is one of the hardest parts where one of the big main mechanics of the game actually first takes place. So we're probably going to die a lot of times in this episode. Just so you know. Jeez. 
Just tell me where to go. Crack in cases. That's right. Along that corridor. Uh I don't like this area. So you know. Invalid something. Wow, there's some stuff in there. <coughs> Let's see. But yeah, I'm gonna die a lot in this episode, so yeah. Just so mm. you know. You're there. That's Morty's office. The passcode should be in there somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, on the computer. Probably. <laughs> uh I'll take that. And I'll take my death. Let's go. Honestly, this area is very memorable for uh, practically everybody. So yeah, I kind of do remember. Look, we'll need the physical key card too. Morley always kept it on him. Find him. <sighs> the code's 1702. Warning. Medical facility quarantine breach detected. Warning. Relax. Medical facility I'm just quarantine trying to find breach out what detected. That is. You focus on finding that key card. Shit. 1702? Oh god damn it, I already forgot it. One zero seven uh one seven zero two one seven zero two. Well, it's time for us to die. You guys ready to see the death animations? Cause you're gonna probably see them all. Uh, hold on before we go any further. Smoke bombs, noise maker. That's flashbang actually. I don't have any noise makers. Am I crazy? Probably. Let's make uh all we can make on those. We're gonna need these. Why? That's why. It's him. Okay, we got his attention over there now. Let's try to be quick about this. As quick as crawling possible. Uh, this isn't where you're supposed to go, to be honest, but the passcode works here. This is basically a place for storage and a uh, little trickery if you're good enough. Let's see. Um, when the noise gets like that, not normally means he could be nearby. And it does mean it right now. Okay. Turn off camera feed. Turn on. Turn that off. No, don't turn that on. Uh, okay. What I just did there is I turned on the. Vince! God. <coughs> there he goes. Holy shit. Oh, 
I'll take that. Um. Does this passcode still work? One seven zero two. Yep. Okay, we got away from that bit. Okay, I want to get as close as possible because where we need to go is that way. Where is he? Right there. Well, which way is it going? Is it going left or right? It's going right. Ooh. Yes, I made it in the vents. Mm. Don't get me wrong, he could st still get you down here. He actually can go in vents if he thinks you're down there. Which is a problem. Wait, doesn't this vent go anywhere? Oh, fuck. Oh, here we go. Okay, this don't go nowhere. His footsteps then sounded so close. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. He's leaving, he's going right. Probably completely unnecessary to hide right now, but I'm going to until he walks by us again. Sorry. Actually, this could also allow me to reveal another one of the mechanics. Oh, he's getting close. He's in there. You see him? God damn it, where is he? Oh, we must have gone into the room right behind, right beside us. That means he's out right now. <gasps> there he is! <gasps> oh, what you want to do here, if he thinks you're in one of these things, you want to lean back and it'll tell you to hold down the L2 and R2 buttons to hold your breath so we couldn't hear you. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Okay, he went the way I didn't think he was going to go. Okay, we gotta punch in this code now, fast! One, seven, zero, two. Go, 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 go! I will update the map. Go straight ahead into that room there. Morley. 
I just hide it right in time. I saw the thing on the radar and I heard him. There is actually a save point in a room right behind this wall, right to my back. <coughs> and I need to get in there and save. Because when you die, you're sent back to your last, uh, some form of a checkpoint. And one of the checkpoints is also a save point, because you can even load up by checkpoint, or where you last saved. And I really need to get into that room. Oh, he's in the way. I don't have any more noisemakers. Damn it, I could have choked it like dead ahead. Okay, he's coming. Oh no, oh no. Okay, he doesn't think I'm in here. Gotta wait for the right moment. I still see his tail. Damn it, he went that way again. Uh, he's still in the way. I need to make some form of a distraction. Oh, he's coming. He's in the room. Actually, that might just allow me to... I don't see him on the radar anymore. Did he leave? I know like if you're quiet for long enough and no noise happens, I think there are moments that he will actually leave. But he's like somewhere still nearby, but you're like super safe. Oh shit. <coughs> Me throwing that smoke bomb might have been a bad idea. Here he comes. Okay, he just left. Gotta get down here into that room now. Oh, I made it. Woo! Pipe bombs. Let's hide in here for a second. Let's see, pipe bombs. Pipe bombs are actually very powerful weapons. I rarely ever get to use them, to be perfectly honest. Okay, he's nearby. Luckily, if you're around the center of the underground, the table, he shouldn't be able to find you. Yes, I'm actually already come up with the title for this episode. Hide and seek! Hide and seek is so the name of this episode! Hi! <coughs> okay, he went he went right, he went right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! This is so being called hide and seek. Stop making a noise! Ooh. 
Can I make a noisemaker? Nope. Flare. You can actually use flares as well as distractions. Resol resolver. I've got one smoke bomb and two flashbangs. Flashbangs work good against uh, avoiding people if they're shooting you. You can shoot it and it blinds them. But it could also be used as a form of a distraction because it makes a loud noise. Flare gets uh, allows provide for light, but it also allows if the alien uh, detects the light, it will also go to it as a, another form of distraction. So I'm actually going to use this. In events. I wouldn't mind getting this attention to go over there, then I sneak around this to go out the door and then go the way I want to go. In fact. Fool. It doesn't distract him for very long. So you gotta go. I like doing that, by the way. <laughs> You see how good it is? I know you might think like, oh, this is the coward way to play. How else are you supposed to play? You can't kill it. You cannot kill it. All you can do is do distractions. You move, you hide. Distractions, you move, you hide. That's all you can do against the alien. That's all you can do. Honestly, I'm going to admit this. I'm shocked. I haven't died yet, but I probably should not have said those words. Oh crap, he's getting closer. <coughs> I'd rather wait until he's gone by. There's actually a switch on the door. There's actually a switch right beside the door that lets you to uh, temporarily lock the door for I think about 30 seconds. Not even the alien can get in. So what I want to do is wait till, he go wait until it's safe, hit the button, I think this is the room you need to be in. Because you have to go into a room and find a key. And I think this is it. So I think that's the body I'm after right there. That's why I came in here. Grab the key, wait till it's safe, and get the fuck out of here. Because we gotta go back the way we came! There it is, key card. <coughs> yeah, I gotta return to him. As soon as those doors can open, he will enter this room. He's out there. The door just opened. He's still out. <laughs> okay, this could be a good. This could be the ex <gasps> good example of uh, the hold your breath thing. By the way, when he when the alien is in the room or anybody is near the locker, you think they don't know you there. Do not get your radar out, your motion sensor. Don't get it out. They'll hear it. 
Okay, he's leaving. Holy fuck! <laughs> get down, get out, get down! The annoying thing is as well is that just to the left where he went is actually a dead end. It's only safe when he goes right the way you gotta go. <laughs> but the room just dead ahead. I normally like to try to get him in there. Is he gone? No. He's coming! He's going in that room. I'm dead. Are you freaking kidding me? He saw me. He even made the noise. the door oh my god I might cut ahead get down get down get down I might cut ahead until I finally get out of this room Okay, we're out of the room. And he's coming. Oh my god, the door is right there as well. <laughs> this whole episode is going to be a game of hide and seek. Oh my god. I don't mind because, well, this is basically the gameplay aspect. And uh, whenever I'm like taking far too long in a room, I will cut small bits out where I'm like either not talking or not saying anything important. And if I'm not saying anything important, period, I might just cut out until the point to where I'm actually trying to leave or if anything happens. I don't see him on the radar. Hmm? Oh! I'll take that. Come on, come on. Let's get in here. Get in the vent. Hide for a second. Give me a flare.
Sorry if it's dark. Go away! Oh, he's gone far enough. This is it. This is my chance. My chance. And he was coming back. You gotta be careful when doing that because sometimes you can turn around and come straight to the vent. That should get his attention. It did. Just gonna walk now. Should be safe enough to walk. While well, he's distract distracted anyway. Okay, just keep walking. Just keep walking. Go this way. Just keep going. I made it! I flipping made it. Fuck you, prick. Fuck you. Damn you, Coleman. You knew that thing was here. Now, <coughs> not fair. I thought it might be there. There's a difference. Now, the passcode. 1702, okay? Now, let's get down to the dispensary. Of course, of course. A promise is a promise. I'm sorry for putting you through this. I'm going to step into the other room to punch the code in and prime the elevator. Then we can use the key card to take the elevator down. Oh my god, that was horrible. But remember what I said? There's some stuff in there we can get. We can he uh, that. And that and those two over there. So which means there's got to be a way in that room. I hate to admit this, but I think I might die here on purpose. Mostly due to the fact I want to try to get in that room because I know what's about to happen. Let's see, is there any way in that room? Yeah, there's a door right there. There. I'll collect my things and we can leave. Wait, I think I know that door. Oh, we can't come back here until later. I gotta try that shit. Uh, bye! Oh run, 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 run! Hit the button! Oh my god! Hide, run, survive. I think that's what I'm gonna call the part actually, not hide and seek. Even though it. I uh, know, I'm calling it hide and seek. Because that's technically what we were doing. I was hiding, he was seeking, and I won. He didn't detect me once. I won! I flipping won! I'm going to tell you a little story now. It's a short story though. Once upon a time, I did. I played this game twice. Every time I've entered that area, I've died like 30 times. The end! <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> that area is so hard. Gotta be careful in this area as well. He can still appear. Ooh, hello! Give me this! <coughs> uh, 
Uh, what the hell is this thing again? A stun baton. Nice. It's very stunning. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Yeah, you gotta be quiet in this area, because even though the alien isn't around, he actually can appear if you make too much noise. Say, like, running and shit like that. So you're gonna really need to watch yourself. So I'm gonna be crouching the entire time. Yay! I think he actually can still sometimes appear, but it's rare. Uh, can't activate it because of the cooling station. Right, yeah, you gotta trigger these things. You got the green light. Oh yes, yeah, right, because one is missing. We gotta get the other one, and I think it's in there. It is so totally fucking out there. I need to get to a save point as well. Time's almost up for this episode. It's gone. Okay, here it is. Oh my god. Sorry I don't talk, to, talk too much in this Let's Play, but... Gotta focus. All right, um... Now we gotta go in that other room. Let's put it this way. I'm gonna play now until I get to a save point. But if I happen to die, wait. I saw a save point. It's right behind me. I was gonna say that if I happen to die before then, then we'll end it. I wanna. S I don't even wonder how long can I go without dying. Probably not much longer, to be honest, because the next area is one of the hardest areas early game. Sims, there's a Dr. Lingard, senior medical officer. Should be able to find out where they're keeping everything in her office. Good luck, Ripley. Sorry if you can. Okay, I want to save now. No, 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 no. You did not just see me. You did not just see me. No, <laughs> no, 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 none. I did not just do that. No, 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 no. Fuck you, fuck you. Everybody count down. God damn it! Did I seriously have to misclick? Oh. Wait, did that just say uh, I was in danger? Oh my god! Seriously? Oh, I misclicked! Instead of hitting the aim button, I hit with the aim button is L2, by the way, in case you haven't played. Instead of pressing I hit R2, which does this. The, the melee attack. R2 does melee. 
I accidentally hit the melee. God damn it! Oh, I hope you guys have enjoyed. There's my first death on not even five minutes after I said, I wonder how long we can go without dying. Not very long. Ugh. Okay. There's your first death animation. Hope you guys have enjoyed. See you next week for the next two, for the next episode of Alien Isolation. Bye. Hi. Uh.